the recording, then we can start straight. All right, so how are you guys doing? Uh, we're ending week 11 and we are jumping to week 12 next week. Then we wrap up the training. I hope you guys are excited and I know it's a lot of work so far and a lot of accomplishments, uh, brokers, achievements, you know, many, many things. So we start as usual as with announcements. Before I provide my announcements, wait for others on the team to, if they, they have something to say in terms of something they can announce to the team. Uh, from tutors, Mary. Thanks, Everest. Hi, everyone. Okay, so my announcement is um, there are a few people who have not, well, a considerable number of people who have not filled the, the, the form, for the, the one that re is requesting for graduation names and all that. So it would be nice if it's, it's like a one minute form to fill. So we just need to make sure that we get your names right and make sure when you're typing your name, just make sure it's accurate enough. Uh, because that's what uh, we'll use for the uh, for the certificates. Uh, the second thing is uh, for those who are still working on their graduation cups craft, if you face any challenges, please just reach out to me via um, on Slack and we can go through it together. So I hope you guys are doing it because I have a sense that nobody's talking about it. So I hope um, I will be checking in later on on how the progress is with that. Thank you. Thanks, Mary. So do we have a big number of who did feel it? So? Yes, I would say uh, we have 29 who have already filled. Mm, okay. So basically, you, you see there's still eight people who have not filled. So it would be nice if you kind of complete the task so that it's clear up. OK. So thanks, Mary. So um, in addition to that, I'll say the, we probably haven't communicated when the time we have in graduation. I think we did on the form, Mary. But I will say that the graduation will take place on Friday of week 13. Means the Friday the next, of the next week after closing the, the normal training. So Mariam, I saw your hand. So maybe Mariam is having some difficulties. I will add on some announcements that today we have a tutorial. On Friday, it's, it's unusual to have it, but we have a tutorial. I guess this month will be the lead uh, and it's in the morning uh, after this stand-up. Uh, and I, I, I guess the, the hot seat person for today is Mary, right? <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so the hot, the hot seat person for today is Mary, and I hope you guys are queuing up some questions, burning ones, um, 10 times Ken's uh, questions. So we can get started straight hearing from people, volunteering to speak on how the week is and how far they are towards to submitting their uh, final deliverables for this week's challenge. Let's hear from Binyam. Good morning, Everest. Can you hear me? Good morning. OK. Uh, it's exciting that uh, we are reaching the end. Uh, and it's a little bit frightening as well. So, uh, regarding my progress, yesterday I've managed to uh, somewhat finish, but uh, I was having a bit of an issue with uh, a run. The, my capacity, my computer capacity is a bit uh, lower than what the Docker requires, uh, especially to run every uh, 
everything that uh, needs uh, the pipeline needs, starting from the Kafka, and I mean the uh, airflow to up to the redash. So I'm struggling with that, but uh, we'll see if I can find a bit uh, a more powerful uh, a machine so that I can test my final localization localized application. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Vinny. I'm sorry for that broker. So I guess it will be fine when you find another laptop or another PC. And so far, how could you say you are on track towards final submission? Uh, yeah, I don't think the final submission is going to be a problem. Uh, I'm, so, I'm already kind of finished, so just uh, some things to wrap up in the mix uh, you know be beautiful and so on so that's what's left for for me now all right thanks Benyam, for sharing for being the first person to share martin uh, good good morning good morning martin. yeah so i uh, think if uh, thank you for the opportunity. So yesterday, uh, what I was working on was uh, making the pipeline to be more smooth. That is from the DBT all the way to the, I mean, from the airflow DAGs uh, triggering the DBT runs and then uh, displaying the results on the Redash dashboards. So that's uh, what I was working on yesterday, and today I want to just uh, complete, uh, just to polish up on um, especially that part of uh, the display of the dashboards. I also want to uh, work more on some few non-technical stuff that I had left pending in the course of the week. So I'll work on that. Yeah, so basically that's uh, how far I am, and I have no blockers at the moment, yeah. Okay, guys, uh, thanks, Martin, to, to share. And I hope, yeah, you are on track. And also that if you say that no broker, it means like someone can rely on you to, especially when they are struggling. So that's why we are- Yeah, sure, there. sure. Yeah. So sorry, Michael, from the chat that you faced power issue. And also thanks, Shaka, for sharing that you're planning to, to keep progressing. Uh, let's hear from the next person, I guess, uh, from Rafa. Morning, everyone. Yeah, morning, morning everyone. Rafa. Uh, so, last day, yesterday, I wasn't really going much in the technical. I mean, yes, now I have a good understanding. Um, I already, after the interim, did, um, I started to set up the environment and um, I already installed the DBT and yeah, but uh, yesterday I was really focusing on the PDU part uh, for the career assignment and uh, it, it's really like challenging now. Um, so it's like I'm writing the script and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully I will just like finish it after uh, the tutorial for today and yeah that's my update all right thanks Rafa. and uh, so you keep keep working hard and also i hope you can also use the community uh, there are people who are probably so far in terms of the progress and yeah you can get so much support from them so how are you so far doing on the portfolio i guess you guys are doing something, your G site portfolio. Yes, for that one, I'm checking with Kari. She is uh, my mentor and career tutorial, a uh, tutor, sorry. So yeah, I'm just like uh, yeah, having advice from her on how to improve it and so on. All right, thanks. Okay. Uh, thanks, Rafa. Let's hear from Daisy. Um, thank you, Everest. Good morning and good morning, everyone. Good morning, Daisy. So for my progress, 
yesterday I was able to set up Apple, DBT, and my data warehouse. Um, and I realized I had downloaded like an empty data set, so I've been trying to get that done today in the morning. Um, and my focus for today will just be to put everything together and like do a script for the DAG and see how data is moving from one stage to the next. Um, for that, yesterday's tutorial on DBT was really, really instrumental. And it gave me so much. Um, I haven't even gotten to the part for Docker yet. So when I hear um, Biniam complaining about issues with uh, speed, I'm worried because I'm already having part challenges. So maybe just a request to Yabebal and like the technical team, if maybe we can have an instant um, fun up because he had mentioned something like that on Monday. If there's a possibility for that, I think that would be great. Um, my focus for today also would be for the non technical tasks to get final versions of my videos um, and also for the meeting with my um, team members later today. Um, I think I'll be in touch for the submission tomorrow um, and I keep. Um, improving on my portfolio. I've shared it with some of my friends just for feedback um, to see what I can do better. Okay, thanks Daisy. Uh, I heard that you were also facing the same issue as Binia, uh, but I didn't catch where your request, you mentioned the Yababa on some points. Oh yes, um, if it's possible to spin up an instance, he had mentioned a possibility for the same mm. on Tuesday. So can you tag him on on on, on Slack? Okay. So um, Martin, there is a question from Binia uh, regarding on how you managed to dockerize and run your entire pipeline, and also how big is your PC run? If you can share, Martin. Okay, for the Docker images, I don't think you really need to uh, set up new Docker images. Already, there are Docker images that have already been uh, that have already been set up. Like, if it's if you're using Redash, there's already a Redash image. If you're using Airflow, there's already an Airflow image. So most of those images have already been pre-built for you. All you'll just have to do is to plug in into your Docker Compose file. Uh, yeah, just to plug it into your Docker Compose file, uh, you run the Docker blah, 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 and then you get it. But in case maybe you had made some blunders in running, uh, you overloaded your computer, uh, let me just share with you a command that uh, you can just quickly sort that out. I've shared with you in the, in the chats, just you can prune, you can prune those images so that you can be able to uh, get it to be clean, and then you can uh, begin working with them. Okay, Binyam, you got that? Think can help. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, that might help. Uh, I will check it out. Okay. So, sorry, Sam, more for the brokers and also some issues that you're facing uh, from the chat that you shared. So, let's hear from the next person. Uh, I think Selam. Uh, okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, well, okay. to tell you, uh, on my update, I was having the same issue that Daisy and Binia mentioned. Um, I was trying to run all the instances in a Docker Compose file, but uh, I don't think um, it, it was taking a lot of space, and my, uh, my PC was not handling it, so I needed to restart that. And uh, maybe I'm going to try what Martin suggested. Um, and besides that, I'm planning to work on the DBT and the Redash today. Uh, that's my update. Thanks, Sarah. And yeah, let's see if this can help for Martin. So does it mean that this issue has been uh, 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 available from from Wednesday, or it's, it's just something from recent time? Salam, wait, did you face the same issue from um, some days ago, or it's new, a new issue? Uh, 
uh, this is the issue I'm facing right now, actually, the Docker Compose. Besides that, uh, you know, nothing else. Okay, so okay. that's right. That's right. That's right from, uh, from others' help, but also you can tag uh, tutors and also Yabeba on, on Slack. If it's 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 a, a constant broker for you guys, um, I think it might help, uh, especially what Daisy has probably suggested and also what Martin suggested. S5. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay. Good morning, everyone. So um, yesterday I was trying to uh, load the data into uh, a Postgres uh, database, but uh, it was not able to do that because some of the rows have over 100,000 um, columns, and those columns were not mentioned as a header or so. so uh, yes, that was a blocker by my side. I couldn't load the entire data, but those uh, 10 columns that had a header have been, um, I, I, I could load those data into uh, my SQL uh, database, but the others I couldn't. So if anyone has uh, was able to do that, uh, I will gladly hear, uh, I, I would gladly want to hear about that. Uh, but yeah, that was the blocker that I faced yesterday, and today I'm uh, planning to continue working with those uh, 10 column uh, database because uh, I have to go as fast as I can. Then after that, I would I would fix it. But uh, yeah, if anyone has faced that issue and solved the problem, uh, I'm open to hear it. Okay, that's why Thanks so much. Let's hear from the. The rest of the team, if someone has managed to probably deal with that. Binyam? Yeah, uh, that's why you might want to try like uh, putting uh, the entire trajectory data in one column called uh, in the other list, or maybe six columns. Uh, uh, have you tried to put them like a, a string of lists? No, no, no. I haven't done that uh, because that that would mean that I w we would be uh, doing some kind of transformation be before loading it, and it would not match the challenge objective of this week's right? Yeah, uh, I understand. Uh, you might need to like uh, do a bit of uh, transformation uh, uh, during the loading uh, and uh, during the extraction stage, but. Uh, uh, since uh, there are no headers given for the uh, majority of the data, you will be missing a lot of the data unless you put it like uh, in some kind of string and uh, put it uh, in one column. Otherwise, just taking the first 10 uh, columns alone will not uh, actually uh, provide uh, the required data for uh, later on. So it's a necessary transformation. Yeah, I was just afraid of uh, transforming before loading the data uh, because of the challenge in this. So, but I will try that again. Okay, thanks, uh, Tesla, and also thanks, Binia, um, for the support. Um, Reme, uh, thanks for, for sharing from the chat. And also, Ken, um, as also a one. So let's hear from other people, people who haven't talked or shared from the, the chat. You did, yeah? Are you able to speak? Or Stella? If you can't speak, please, please type, type, then say I can't speak. Probably I'm, I'm not, I'm not into a, a comfortable environment, blah, blah, blah. But 
share with us. Um, so let's hear from Nardos. Uh, thanks, Lydia, for confirming that. Did that no Good bonus? morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Morning, Nardos. Uh, so I'm working on last week. project so I don't have much blockers this week. I've been working on the videos yesterday. We need to give an update on so yeah that's it. Thanks Nardos. So no broker so far? I was not getting you away before. No, no bro no brokers. All good. All right. Great, thanks for sharing. Uh, so I saw Maron Han, but it's done now. Maron, can you speak? If Maron can't speak, let's hear from Ama Sharif. Yes, Maron. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Good morning, yeah. Okay, so uh, I have been working on setting up uh, everything, the environment, and I have Airflow and DBT working. I had some issue with that. I was able to uh, up with the people from here uh, on Slack. So that was the blocker, and uh, today I'll be working on reading the data and just completing the rest of the task. Yesterday I was also working on the non-technical part, uh, the video. Uh, uh, that's it for my update. Thank you. Thanks, Maren. So how far are you on the port profile or portfolio? I have updated everything according to the comments that were given to me. So I think there's a lot for me to do. But... Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, so a piece of advice, guys, on your portfolio, your profile. So make sure you do it and look at it by yourself and feel like you're really proud. You feel like you have done whatever things you can do because these is the things you, you guys are going to to share outside externally with employers they they need to be standing out so please please do work on them carefully and make sure that they are really looking great mm, so let's hear from the next person ama shall we? Hi, everyone. Hi. Okay, so from my end, I have just downloaded the data. I feel I'm a bit behind with the task, but um, uh, the data was downloaded uh, perfectly, I can see. And um, yeah, uh, I have also installed the DPT and uh, the airflow. So I'll start working on them. Okay. So it seems no 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 brokers from your end. Oh, yeah, so fun. Great. Uh, thanks, Sarah, Doug, Mary, and also you, Didia, for sharing from the chat box. I think we need to hear from more people. Um, that we call who probably share. Nahom. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, good morning now. Okay, good morning everyone. Yeah. So yesterday I was working on setting up DBT and running it in the Docker container. I was able to do that. So today I'm going to continue and move on to the Raydash part.
and do the non technical task. So, it takes now. Next person, Titus. Okay, uh, good morning. Are you able to hear me? <clears throat> yeah, Rodan, well yeah. Yeah, okay, so from my side, um, yesterday I managed to do the, the profile, I managed to load my video, to do a good video and load it. And uh, on my technical side, um, I'm still behind. Um, I encountered a blocker with uh, my SQL uh, data warehouse, the loading part. So um, yeah, that has been my blocker and I'm hopeful that I'll start that today. So basically, if just a request, if anyone is working with the MySQL database, and has managed to load uh, the data to the to the well because I already have the prepared data, the pandas data from that I have. So it's just about the loading part. So if anyone has managed to to like successfully uh, load the data to the warehouse, can they could just uh, share it in the chat and maybe I could reach out after the, this uh, tutorial. So yeah, and about the 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 other files, the DBT and the airflow, I've managed to get the images and everything that required to and that I'm required to have. But like I haven't like uh, run it using the using the, the data in the warehouse, so that's my like my biggest challenge so far. So yeah, uh, so far yeah, that's my progress. Okay, thanks, Titus. Um, for the broker you mentioned, please you can also share on the Slack. Maybe someone will be in touch with you. So there's no need to keep struggling on that, as well as as long as we have community. Uh, Matilda, few brokers yesterday, taking help from fellow trainees. Um, please do that. Let's hear from hmm, Ikma. Like Maher. Myret, do you have something to say? I saw your hand. Myret, can you speak? Oh, it was by Mister. So let's hear from Duke. Hello? Yes, Myret, Myret. I have some suggestion yes. on the profile, the skill set, and the trainee's photo. So okay. can I go, or do you want to finish your sure. startup first? Please go, please. Please go okay. ahead. Okay. Basically, on the photos, we have some suggestions based on, like, we have seen some of the submissions are not in good quality. So those photos, which, let's say, for example, Martin's photo is not good. And there are also some other photos which didn't, didn't look like as a professional as well as they didn't have that much quality so we we will not expose that to the higher uh, for the companies to hire you so can you please uh, take a photo which looks like professional as well as uh, which is in good quality and also uh, on the information which is gathered from the trainees uh, most most of the papers uh, have submit their skills and description which is needed uh, 15 words, uh, 50 words, but uh, some of them didn't complete to submit their submissions. So can you please complete your submission in order to be uh, exposed uh, your profile for the companies? So we need these two basic things. And if it's possible, can you complete that one? Till the close of the day today. So 
let me okay. check. Like yes. Yeah, we'll say please uh, let me know if you're done and we can also uh spread the message to the rest of trainees who are not on the call uh, to make sure that uh everything looks professional. Yeah, they are not at least professional at least complete information like your g site profile site and uh, skills like clear skills uh, some of the skills may look like um, one sentence if you pinpoint the specific skills that would be better for you. and photos or Abel's photo is not good. Amon didn't submit photo. Um, Malakus photo also. Um, okay. Marit, I'm probably share the list with us uh, on the operation side. We can help you with those who probably have bad quality or who didn't submit. So I guess that would be much useful. And thanks for your time and thanks for the recommendations. Binyam, do you have a follow up question on this? Yeah, uh, I have submitted a photo, but I received uh, a I have been asked to change the picture. I, I didn't understand why it was high quality. Mm -hmm. The background was white. So when you say professional, maybe if that's where uh, I missed uh, something. When you say professional, can you explain a bit more? Uh, photos which looks professionally. Like you can search for professional photo shoots and you can see how they look like, and you can use them for yours. So, uh, d does mine fit the uh, requirements or? Uh... Your photo is not good. In general, should I have to pinpoint like the name, which I need you to change the, your photo? Okay, Anastasia. Yes, Anastasia. Uh, maybe Malet, uh, I could suggest maybe you show them a few of good professional photos. Maybe some already shared by the trainees, or maybe just general ones. And then maybe now you show the difference of uh, what we don't consider professional. Just a few examples. Mm -hmm. Maybe I think I have to pinpoint some of the names, and I will share it with others. All right, Some thanks, of them have Anastasia. submitted uh, like a photo which is captured by another camera, uh, which is weird, a hard coffee photo. Okay, uh, so I guess this is very important. Uh, yes. So you, you know, as you you as well saying as the insight is very important, and your skill sets description. Please look after it and try to complete it. That's the only way which you can you, you which you can sell yourself for the companies. That's because that's the first thing they see when they come. Please take time and try to do what's best for you. That's my last suggestion. Okay, thanks, Marit. So let's hear from um, two to three people who haven't shared yet. Then we just go straight to today's hot seat session. Uh, Tadesse? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, from my side, uh, uh, as I've said, uh, I'm using Windows. So. <clears throat> I'm doing some installation 
uh, and uh, some of them are fixed now. And, uh, and yesterday I were editing my profiles, correcting some of my uh, inconsistent WordPress, and uh, <clears throat> I have cleaned that one, and uh, I have tried to work on the DBT. So uh, I, I have tried to load the file, the <clears throat> the data which is given to us. Uh, and the other thing I need to tell you is uh, just uh, uh, I have uh, <clears throat> I have applied for one job last time for a data science job, which is uh, uh, there is one company which uh, it is head office is in in Kenya, and uh, that company has a branch from Ethiopia, and I, I have seen it uh, simply on the LinkedIn, and I have applied that one and. Uh, this morning, uh, <clears throat> they have uh, uh, they <clears throat> they let me to take the exam. Uh, so it's better if I will share you the idea because uh, for most of us, most of us will be apply for the job next time, and uh, they they have given me two two half hour to finalize. Uh, the model learning and the prediction giving me some data and uh, the challenge uh, includes the aggregation of the data and uh, other things so please please uh, uh, try to yeah, try to review review what you have worked also uh, what uh, i miss on this exam is uh, previously i have uh, worked on many things uh, on my github but uh, this uh, the question is not that much complex but the time is very short and uh, the thing is that the, you say easy is very difficult when you get into exam so it is uh, a good experience uh, for all of you so try to even try to apply on linkedin wherever you get whatever it is, then they will email you and they will set the time to uh, qualify you. So thank you very much. This is my update from my side. Amazing, amazing, Tadisi, thanks. When are you taking the exam again? Sorry? When's the deadline? Uh, deadline of the exam, it was today. Uh, they they sent me an email to have exam by today morning today 8 a.m to 10 30 a.m uh, east african time then mm -hmm. uh, they <clears throat> what they made is just they share some document and they let you to set up everything in 15 minutes on your github and after set up in that one you will proceed to work on the challenge and as I give you to how to do the challenge uh, uh, today uh, it, it were uh, today the exam mm -hmm. I, I have taken it by today till uh, 10 10 30 a.m all right Thanks, and uh, they let you to share your uh, screen yeah uh, you can make your camera on and you can share your screen. You don't allow to search for the words or the keywords which are there on the challenge document, but you can search everything regarding the Python programming. So how would you rate um, the, 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 the exam concepts so far uh, when you probably type that to 10 academies? Um, challenges that you have already worked on and how was it hard or how was it easy okay it was simple but uh, what i missed is uh, i am reading uh, the complex things rather than uh, reading about just modeling uh, by using csv files so what they made is they start from simple things 
for example, they start from scikit-learn modeling. Uh, they, they have given me some data and they try to aggregate this data by this property, then train your model and uh, that the model that uh, you will train may should should have a performance and accuracy that has minimum minimum to the one which we have trained they say so it includes uh, comparison of uh, the mo different models even uh, you should you should have to mind what models are the best one what the others are the best one you can compare from what you have from your knowledge and you can decide to use one model because the time is very small so they work on the modeling uh, just by using some some classification models from circuit learn and they let you to work uh, to minimize the accuracy of uh, the model Okay, thanks, Tadessa. I will reach you for more information so that I can probably uh, also share with the rest of the team and to see, yeah, how better to support moving forward if you continue to the next stage. So you started the job search early, but that's fine. And I hope that I'm very, very proud that you have been shortlisted and get the exam. So now I think, I think like we can well, get ready for the, the hot seat, uh, Mary. So I'm going to, yes, you have everything. Yeah, and congratulations, Tadessa. And this is really a good, this is a time for everyone to be um, just active. I mean, if you really want to get a job and if you really mean it, do what is required. And what's required, for example, we're sharing some of profiles. If you don't have your profiles, if you don't have good pictures, I really feel like, you're gonna, I mean, it's okay, You but you're going to miss some good opportunities. And usually they don't come that often um, as you think. So, for example, Martin, I want your picture to be really, it's really not good picture. You just have to do it. And Faith, you don't have your, your, your link, like your profile link. And all of you like that. So yesterday we said, please, just a basic profile. You have to have it. You have to send it, it has to be in the system because we are sharing. And if you don't help us, we actually will just, after really letting you know like that, just that means we will just, if the profile is not there, if the good picture is not there, we'll basically not share it. So just to, to let you know that, and this is really an active season. So make sure you do first what is, you know, what is, um, what is first is first, like sharing your pictures, editing your profile is at most priority. So I just want to let you know that. And with that, it means like if we don't see a good picture and if we don't see a good pro, I mean, at least a profile, a Jimmy profile, then that means if you we want to share you, we will not share you. If the system is already up. So it's from the system that we would use. And I think as I said, please just start searching and applying and, and all that. And yeah, just want to say that, but congratulations again, Tatis. Bye, everyone. Right. From my side, bye. Just uh, bye. Okay, thanks, Abby. Uh, Mary, uh, we are going to start the hot seat. So I would like to you to, of course, turn on your camera. I'll start the timer. Well, okay, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm feeling not ready for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> For, for the first time oh my god yeah okay i don't know i don't know if i'm ready for this but hey hey okay so guys i'm going to make so i'm going to you know like for the ability um you know i'm going to maybe add some minutes i'm not sure six minutes are gonna be enough for <laughs> uh, so so we have 10 minutes so i'm gonna make it 10 minutes for this one so then you know the questions are there i'm not sure 10 minutes, minutes are going to be also enough but i need hands from you guys well, hands it's from promising me. when i'm not seeing any hands yeah uh, <laughs> wait for them <laughs> <them. laughs> 
wait for them it's a revenge <laughs> <laughs> from daisy so minutes 10 minutes there we go. let me see hands guys okay hands let me see hands so for this, is saying I'm, I'm... there should be no timer oh no that's okay <laughs> oh my god we have to go to, for the next tutorial guys yeah all right guys um let's go um i'll ask my questions after let's go <clears throat> starting from daisy um maybe white cricket it was an accident it was one of the best accidents that ever happened to me so it was accidentally and i loved it and i mean it's a gentleman's game so it's yeah i loved the nature of it and all that yeah oh wow okay rafa so mary what is your biggest goal in life my biggest goal in life interesting yeah. <laughs> so um, I, I would say uh, I live purposefully. I live to ensure that uh, I leave a mark. So basically, I, I do everything uh, with an intention of creating impact. So I think for me, my biggest purpose in life is to be um, to, to leave a mark in this world. Okay. Meron? your happiest event? Sorry, I can't hear that. I didn't hear that. Meron, can you repeat your question? I wasn't he hearing you as well. Maybe we can take the next one as she's fixing our mic. Yeah. Okay, Vinya. Okay, uh, Mary, what are you most scared of and uh, what excites you more? Uh, what excites you? <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really scared. Okay, physically, I'm really terrified by insects that hop. So basically, locust, anything that hops. It just insects that hopes the like I, I'm terrified because I think it's because of the unpredictability on um, any time they can just jump on you. You know that it's not like a rat that moves around and you can anticipate. So I think that terrifies me. And in terms of uh, on a general uh, perspective, it's not having a choice. That terrifies me. Like I. I, I can't do with not having a choice at any point in life. All right, question from Anastasia, Kenya or Rwanda? Which which one do you prefer and why? Ha! Huh. I'm a, I'm a very global citizen. I would say, I would say Rwanda. I would say Rwanda, especially this this particular time, Ooh. because in Kenya there's a bit of. <laughs> A, a bit of chaos and yeah a bit of chaos at the moment visit Rada, yes yes michael all right question from matilda what's your life philosophy what are your values so there are three th usually three main things that i go by first integrity second strive uh, for excellency so basically in everything i do whether it's work related not work related i don't do half baked anything so i do everything to the maximum and and the third thing is fair play be okay fair play it's a lot more like a sports uh, terminology but it's more like being fair in whatever situation so those are the three things that i like I follow when I'm doing whatever it is that I do in my life. Wow. Uh, thanks for sharing, Mary. Looks like you, you prepared that question. I'm not sure. And not really. These are <laughs> my my things. Okay. Who's going I'm next? Jo I'm joking. <laughs> Salam. <laughs> okay, Mary. Uh, I, I'm so curious why you are so energetic. 
what motivates you to be like this? <laughs> Why I'm so what? Energetic. You are so energized. Oh, so, um, um, so I have no answer to that because nobody has been able to uh, diagnose that. But my friends and my family usually think that um, uh, like it's maybe uh, it born like that or, or maybe they, they usually use the terminology say she's just high on air. So basically I'm always... I think the energy drops when I'm asleep, but as long as, uh, yeah, I have no proper answer for that or scientific response for that. Okay. Uh, so, Biruk? Hi. Um, what are the things you most like and dislike about the academy? Hmm. I have not, to be honest, I've not pinpointed anything I dislike yet. But one thing I like about Ten Academy is the people. First of all, you can tell that I'm a people person. Um, and the second thing is that I'm a big fanatic of upskill. So I, I believe in learning every day. So one thing that I liked about being here is because I feel surrounded by geniuses usually because I'm not a very techie person. I'm not a techie person at all. So being around 37 tech people makes me feel like a genius as well. So I think I, I like that about Ten Academy. Cool, cool. That's fine. We have to okay, pass. Mary, you cannot pass this one. So uh, <laughs> who is the best? <laughs> who is the best student you have faced and worst student you have faced in Batch Five Ten Academy? Who's the best what? Student. And worst The best student. student and the worst student. Yeah. Well, I think we still have one week. I've not found the worst student <laughs> yet. I've not found the worst student yet. But I think in terms of best, it's relative because it depends on what you call best. So we, we have different people here with different strengths and different exciting personalities. So um, it would be, it would not be very accurate to say that it best in what terms, but I would say what, what I've come to realize that uh, everybody here deserves to be here because they're, they're, they have interesting personalities, very interesting and different personalities, strengths, which makes us a good team. So I hope that is politically correct. <laughs> okay, um, so now those. Uh, hi, Mary. Hi. Uh, I want to know what you find uh, good. What's the quality you look in a person? How do you know someone is amazing? What characters so do I need to have to be amazing? So my, my perfect, amazing person is basically a person who is truthful. So, so I, I, I know I get switched off and turned on when I, I sense lies. So truthful, uh, open-minded. So basically a person who will not judge before anything comes in. So it's open to anything, open-minded. I think those are, the, and, uh, and three, of course, um, I enjoy being around smart people. And by smart people, I mean people with, you know, who have a, an interesting way of thinking, a lot more conversation on the board because I'm more of a conversational kind of person. So I like challenging uh, ideas. Yeah. Cool. One minute to go. Um, there's a question from Meron on chat. What's your happiest moment so far? My happiest moment so far? Yeah. I am mostly happy. That's the thing. Like, I can't, I don't think right now I can pinpoint anything. Okay. Uh, question from Shaka. What makes you angry the most? Oh, lies. I do not like lies. And two, when, two, uh, unfair situations. So when something is not fair, I like it when situations are very fair. Whether it's unfairness towards me or to other people, I really get mad. Question from Ken the Shooter. One thing your parents should never know about you. 
can. We agreed about this. One thing my parents should never know about. You. About me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, Ken. This is this is this is not fair. Um. 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 Hmm. Pass. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't get. Oh, that. I can see that Mao is there. Oh you my said God. pass. I said pass. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys taking the time. Um, time is up. I think Dagmawi is should be You have one question from Dagmawi and Rafa, then we end. <laughs> question from Rafa. Hi, Mary. Hi. <laughs> uh, so, have you ever been sad? Uh, and uh, where do you find all this positivity about you? Have I ever been what? Sad, sad sad yes 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 yeah I'm, i mean it's I, I don't stay mad and sad for a very long time so in terms of positivity is uh, i think it comes with age as well and don't ask me how old i am mm. because i'll pass that one okay so another pass I, I i like to look at things on very positive not even when it's a, in a negative or uh, a disturbing situation so the concept... mm. sorry okay the concept i use i say i grab the knife by the handle so the knife has the blade side and that's the handle so you you choose where you want to grab the, the knife if you grab by the the the, the, the blade hand and side it will cut you so i choose to hold everything by the handle then look at the brighter side of things sorry sir. okay sorry saram rafa is the last person then we close okay uh mary uh, what was your job before ten academy ah um, okay so i am i am a public health professional so i usually work my most of my big work is around a uh, development project that uses a uh, different methodology to do um, health promotion and uh, health strengthening. Okay, so it's a, it's a bit of health technical bit of things. But yeah, that's what I usually do. And I went on a more like on a that break, I wanted to have a one year break from all my usual work. And that's how I've been having all the fun at 10 Academy. All right, guys. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Mary. Uh, thanks for. Yeah, we, we're happy to have you now. So I will say that you were able to answer um, ninety-six percent questions. Uh, that's twenty-three questions out of twenty-four. <laughs> so from uh, from um, of course people who were asking, I didn't manage to ask my question, but we do. Uh, the time we meet again. And, okay. Thank uh, you for sparing me. Because I didn't, I didn't want to disturb the questions. You know, but what would you say about the experience? Uh, you've been, you know, the organizer for this, but now <laughs> it was for you. I should say it's easier to be on the side of like stabbing when you're asking questions. You know, I've always been laughing. As, and and I've always wanted Ken to ask questions until my turn when I've been begging him not to. So it's been a good experience, and it's interesting to hear a little bit about what you guys are curious uh, about me on, and hope um, you got to know me a lot more better. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear from the one trainee. So something you probably learned from Mary. I know you guys interact with Mary a lot. But uh, what's something like you can say surprised you or you learned from Mary from this session? One person from Phoenix, then we close. Tadese? Okay, thank you. Uh, I haven't asked her a question, but as a comment, you know, what yeah. I have uh, learned from her is uh, just uh, <clears throat> she hates life. That's an interesting one. Lies yeah. uh, when when we lie, we our life may be 
in a complicated way. There is one word from here from Ethiopia. If you pass one road uh, lying, when you come back, you you will be catch up there. So, so that is difficult. Uh, <clears throat> lie is not good. And uh, the thing I understand from here is whatever it is, enjoy and uh, uh, have a good refreshment. Just have a fun and uh, you, you can do everything in a simple way. If you enjoy, if you depressed, uh, as as ten academy word uh, one ten I like one ten academy word over you will be overwhelmed it says when you depressed to do, uh, on especially on training so what I have learned from here is just enjoy with what you have and work your uh, task in a time on the time and communicate in a good manner. The only uh, the, the another thing is that I learned from her is her communication. Yeah, she simply communicate with us, but she's perfect. So I need to optimize my communication just by even relooking, reviewing her video which is posted <laughs> before. <laughs> so thank you. Okay, thanks, Kadesa. Thanks, Mary. So I'm going to. Of course, this was very really amazing. I'm going to close this the recording. Desmond, are you on the call? Uh, could we start the tutorial probably at um, 9.15, just to spare time for them to take a break? Are you okay with that? That's fine. It's fine. All right. Okay. So let me stop this one.